Um, Mr. Badilli, we're here ahead of uh, the Bristol game. Um, tell us a bit about how much you're looking forward to this match. Yeah, I am really looking forward to it. Obviously, the last few weeks or months for me has pretty much been A-League game, so it'd be nice to get out in a competitive match and hopefully show what we can do. Um, we've got a good team going out, so it'd be interesting to see how we go. Obviously, you know, you, you talked about the fact that it's been mainly A-League this season. How frustrating has it been? Because you have been on the cost of that first team and you've played in Europe and you've done all those things as well in, in the past couple of seasons. Yeah, it's, it's obviously a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, the team's going real well. So when the boys are playing well and the team's going well, you're going to be limited to changes unless there's injuries in there. So it's good to see the team going well and hopefully I can just take my chance on Saturday. Indeed, and you look at the, the, the Bristol side you've been up against and they're, they're not taking it lightly really either. It seems they've played, they're going to pick a half-decent side. That's going to be a, a good challenge, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we've... Uh, going to be hopefully putting a good side out as well um, but for them they're probably a little bit frustrated with the way the two Prem games have gone when they've played against us um, so for us it's all about game time getting out there and hopefully just getting the win. Do you think you'll get a bit of a backlash from them bearing in mind that the, the two Premiership results it was very close here obviously uh, a few weeks ago? Yeah we're probably expecting one I mean obviously they probably feel a little bit hard done by with the way the two games have gone um, but for us we don't really feel like we've played uh, to our potential either in those so hopefully on Saturday we can just go out and get five points and really bang in the semi-final. You obviously, you know, we are getting closer to those semi-finals, I'm beaten in this competition so far and it is, a, as you said before, it's a great opportunity for players like yourself to show the coach and staff in a, in a, in a first team game situation what it's like. Do you feel a bit of pressure going into it the fact that you know it is a, a, a rare opportunity for you to perform in front of the TV cameras in front of kind of a first team situation um, there is obviously a little bit of pressure but for us it's probably about being excited about being back in the shirt and really just using it as a chance to get uh, get game time really uh, get into a big crowd and hopefully put a performance in because when they're not that uh, frequent you need to really make the most of it indeed and what excites you most about this opportunity? What do you think you're going to expect from Bristol? You said before about kind of a, they're, you know, they're going to be a bit fierce. And on the field, where do you think their strengths are going to be? Well, obviously, if Piotr plays, he's obviously up yeah. there. He's one of the best <laughs> attacking threats in the league. Um, they're, they like, they're a little bit like us in the way they want to have the ball, they want to attack, and they play quite an exciting brand of rugby. So hopefully it'll be two sides playing really uh, good rugby and coming out on top. Hopefully it'll be us. When you watch a player like Charles Piertau plays in you know, your position and, and you see him, I guess I don't want to say you'd be a bit starstruck because I'm sure you, you would play him as you play anybody else. But it, how do you feel when you play against somebody who, you, who you've admired and revered? Um, it's, a, it's a little bit weird, really. I think building up to the game, you're, there's obviously a lot of talk about him because he is a very good player mm. and uh, with other players as well. But I think once you're in the game situation, you almost just do your own thing and defend him as if he was any other player or attack him as if he was any other player. So for us, it's just about doing what we do and really sticking to our plan and hopefully that'll work on Saturday. And a third win out of four games in the Premiership Cup and remaining unbeaten w would be fantastic looking to try and get into those knockout stages and, and get further again because it's a competition that Exeter have got a good history in, isn't it? Yeah, obviously historically, historically we've obviously gone well in this competition. And the fact that if you make the semis, make the finals, that is a couple of extra games for us to sort of get your uh, name out there and really play well. So for us, it's just about really putting the marker out and playing how we want to play and doing our thing on Saturday. Fantastic.